provide uh, additional implementations of um, various new or recent um, algorithms. And, um, well, uh, the title is slightly changed since I uh, sent you the chat, but um, inboxes getting um, very old and not necessarily mature, but uh, old. Um, Inbox 1.0, which was the first uh, released, really um, well released version, um, dates back to July 2005, but um, actually uh, the project comes from um, as earlier. Uh, uh, it's a library that's growing steadily uh, in uh, line with codes. It's almost um, 200,000 and both now, and well, it will include it more and more and both as people are interested in and people are probably living in the future. Uh, you can find it uh, on this website and just many things to download it and install it. There is a easy installer. Um, and well, the future is in those two point zero, so I feel that we're just now on on the the conception of um, our next parallel library. <coughs> um, so, what are we doing exactly in Windows? Well, we have um, basic fields or rings, um, rings in which uh, we are doing uh, linear algebra. Uh, uh, um, these rings, fine, uh, and, uh, and these exact rings, uh, we are solving problems, linear algebra problems such as finding the line and the determinant, uh, any classical uh, linear algebra problem. And uh, we want to provide an implementation for these solutions that be as efficient as possible. And if somebody comes with a new algorithm, well, we'd like it to be a nice place to play the, the new algorithm and implement, try, and then contribute with the rest of the solutions. So in the next few slides, I will talk about the architecture of Inbox, or where Inbox is sitting, uh, how Inbox uh, is um, generally designed. So where is Inbox? Well, there is a lot of dedicated uh, linear, uh, there is a lot of dedicated um, libraries and maps around. Uh, most of them here are uh, very well known. Well, those projects do very well, so we try to take them and use them in Inbox to take advantage of what's previously what, what produce done and what's actually done in you know, the in you know, the library. And on top of Inbox, well, uh, we are happy when people use it, um, especially Sage or Young Man, Pedro or other other. Uh, for the software that we use uh, Linux for providing solutions to them. Uh, yes, the license to Linux? I'm sorry? What is the license? Uh, it's the SGPL uh, Um, how is Linbox organized? 
Well, there is a big source code, source code where there is a good library code. And there are examples that show uh, how one can use Linux and what one can use also these examples um, as binaries, just simple binaries. Uh, there is an extensive test suite uh, that's especially for us. And uh, it's quite new, there are benchmark, benchmarks. Uh, benchmarks are there essentially um, for self tuning. This is, uh, there's a lot of work going on uh, in that direction. It's also, it's also used for producing graphs very easily and conveniently. And uh, we also want to use this benchmark architecture to, uh, to provide uh, regression testing and checking. So that's, uh, that's one part of Windows that is very new and that is evolving and where there are many uh, questions on the level. I don't need to present things that are written in stone and will not change in the future. And most of the things I'm going to talk about uh, from now on, these things that are still uh, under discussion and well, uh, in the previous expert meeting, that's what we kind of agree on, and probably it will be uh, the base of the Windows 2.0. Um, now I'm talking about uh, the design of Windows, uh, how we think of linear algebra. Well, uh, just as linear algebra is, well, when you're doing when you're learning linear algebra first, uh, you learn what is a ring or field, because uh, that you get your field on. There's a these, so, well, we want uh, to, uh, to provide linear algebra um, generically of uh, any kind of, uh, of fields or rings, such as you know, the set of PZ or integers or whatever. Um, and on top of those uh, domain, uh, well, we have um, we have matrices, we have uh, uh, linear applications. Uh, matrices, um, well, mainly they are dense, sparse, or structured matrices that uh, when or but also, and this is a really big part of Windows, um, there are the black box matrices, the black box matrix, uh, it's just a matrix considered as a linear application. Um, so, the only thing that it's supposed to do is um, a product with a vector. Um, we relaxed this a little bit and also add um, the product with another matrix, another matrix, as you consider X there as a block of vectors, just like um, on, on set where uh, the previous tool. Um, if we can block, um, if we can block um, operation uh, for cache and um, other reasons, it will, will be faster. So, um, this is something new that we want to be uh, completely generically integrated in the box. Uh, provide that box that uh, apply on block operators and uh, in uh, matrices. For instance, on the PZ, um, we will use BLAST um, 3, which is much faster than BLAST 2 version. On top of these matrices, uh, well, we build algorithms, uh, plenty of them. Well, there's a list here. Uh, it's not exhausted by all the other algorithms. And those algorithms, well, they are used in the solution. So we just try to adapt all those algorithms to give something fast and comprehensive and solutions. Well, there are those problems you want um, to give a, 
Uh, when you mean FP, is it just any P, including large P, many words? Well, uh, uh, there's the same question in GFQ, and uh, no, uh, this is very synthetic. Uh, this is just a few examples. Uh, no, there are, there are small P's. Okay. For instance, well, there is a G, I write here F2 because there's work for including Mary, 
But um, there is also a uh, bit slicing that we are, that uh, based on that is producing for very small uh, peas. Well, there are extremely large peas that uh, we use integers there, but it's not very fast. I mean, uh, well, we, we don't have something very efficient for, for the rank of the matrix of FP with P and integer. So, well, there are many distinctions to be done, but it doesn't fit in a, in a slide. Here. Uh, and it's exactly the same for GFQ. Yeah, the, so, the, the small Q2 and the two three four, where we can use Mary, uh, Mary E. Mary E. I don't know what to say. Mary in German, which is not E. Not E. But you know, this is even faster. It's not E. Same thing for F3 to the something. So uh, there are just many, many fields uh, here. Many, many other matrices here, especially in the structured here. The structured matrices are already, that's not true. There are um, structured matrices where you can compute the rank extremely fast, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. How do you measure this? I mean, How do we measure this? That, that well, we put it here yellow and then... When we are putting it green here, yeah. it's oh, okay. uh, or yellow or well, uh, something white. Yeah. It means that uh, we are happy. Mm -hmm. uh, and when something like uh, Mary happens to be there, I mean, uh, something like, I don't know, five years ago, when Mary would be done with this, we would have been happy with our F2 implementation. Uh, now there is Mary, we are not happy, so it gets, it gets closer to red. I mean, we compare with what exists around, and when things don't exist, it's uh, well, how happy we are with the Well, sometimes you just can't compare, so, okay. so when you can do something that others can't do, you are not even possible. Uh, for instance, if you compare here with Maple, it would be much more uh, greener or um, Well, uh, bes uh, besides um, all this combination of uh, matrices and, um, and, and uh, fields, uh, there is a big combination of um, algorithms, and there are many, many algorithms that we can use. Just take the simplest operation in, uh, in linear algebra and the simplest one uh, of well, the first ones we, we learn uh, the last two and last three is uh, matrix multiplication dense matrix multiplication well there is, there is uh, the naive uh, triple loop there are faster algorithms there are different implementations of them there are algorithms that come from other libraries. Uh, there is a huge variety of matrix multiplication algorithms uh, that we can use and uh, take advantage of. Uh, how can we select the one we like and the one that will bring uh, the best performances? That's one of the main questions we have. Uh, regarding generosity and efficiency, well, uh, take for instance um, class pack. Um, class pack is uh, it's, uh, it's a software that does uh, linear algebra over F P with P not too small, not too large, like uh, typically the size of the half of the of the block. <laughs> Um, all these algorithms here, AGMM, uh, TRSM, uh, LB composition, etc., uh, they can be written uh, with the complexity of the matrix multiplication. So they all uh, fall down to doing good matrix multiplication. Um, there is a theoretical ratio between the complexity of uh, those algorithms and the complexity. Uh, of the APML matrix multiplication. 
if you are close, then you are then you are happy as well, because it means that uh, we can do almost as fast as the theoretical ratio. What does it mean here? It means whatever the algorithm, if we can reduce properly to um, a solution, a matrix multiplication, uh, then automatically all the algorithms on top will be passed. Um, that's an example here. Basically, that's back is built on this uh, on this idea. There is flat implementing a GMM and then back only uses a GMM. <coughs> Um, 
previous benchmarking is producing thresholds. Um, it's, it's done in many libraries, in Git as well. But also selecting default method, methods, like um, previously in the multiplication solution. What's the best default method for each case? And uh, as other good things, it can produce just simply graphics for the user. Uh, it's nice. It can produce prediction testing for the developer. It's nice as well. But the first goal was um, producing thresholds and default methods, and the rest is just goodies that we kind of really appreciate. So to conclude um, this little part, uh, in Windows we want to produce generic solutions by providing specialization here and there. We uh, we rely first for better solutions and also for um, making choices and strategies in an automatic way. So either at the compilation time, that's better, but it takes longer for them. It takes really a lot of time to produce the benchmarks, etc. and select the input methods. So at compilation time, it can take really, really long at execution time, but we don't really like decision made at execution time. And finally, the main thing here is that um, now we write algorithms to try to avoid writing them <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, when we write algorithms now, we write them back with solutions and it provides generous efficiency and also maintainability. We have to, uh, to think of what algorithm we are using. The solution will care for us. And now we're going to talk about um, the memory model, um, what conventions we make so that we don't have to care really about memory model and uh, stay fast and safe. Well, we are using C++, so we are using really C++ and its uh, mechanism. Uh, for instance, we'll try to allocate and destroy only the construction the district. So, uh, we don't like pointers very much, so everything is part by our accounts. That saves space uh, and time, no copy. So as a result, uh, we have to initialize any object before using it. And it's kind of safe, because when we don't use pointers, uh, we, are, we stay on the stack and well, just with scoping, we are safe. Uh, this is a typical example. We have a routine taking two arguments, returning the first one. We create what we need, modify it, and then return the result of the of this routine. That's how uh, most things are written in Windows and how we want things to be written in Windows always, passing by reference and initializing before using. Well, that maybe it looks dumb, but um, it, it, it kind of works. I mean, why? Um, because um, we can control very, very well memory allocation. Uh, and we don't have extra tools. We don't use extra tools such as one integration or transmitting. Uh, we put from another just to use. Right, it doesn't need to be wondered for instance. Just by our programming style, we can guarantee that uh, we are thinking and uh, we are using uh, the memory that uh, we are thinking we are using. And why is it really possible here? Uh, mainly because the size of the objects we are dealing with is roughly constant. Uh, very often it is exactly constant, compiling fields, images, 
just as it's in memory of the moon, they are very unique. And if they are not, well, we can go. I'm not talking about this now. So, an example of this model, we have dense matrices of the field. They own some memory. We have some matrices, well, it just points to the memory of the, of the dense matrix. There is a loner and somebody that shares. Um, by the way, uh, in the past, in Nimbus, there were many, many, uh, many, many uh, dance matrices and um, these are all um, We want them to be simple for the user. So what we're doing is putting everybody in matrix over the field so that uh, elements can elements of the matrix can add and multiply. Uh, before it was completed just by field elements, but field elements they don't know anything from the field. They can't add, they can't do anything. Uh, and the storage, for instance here, the storage will be glass, the form will be sparse and anything. And the matrix has a black box interface, that's all. If uh, the matrix is good at doing something else, we just add it as a movie. But uh, the matrix is on that part of the place, and that's all. And there is this vector. Uh, you know, we like matrices and vectors. Matrices are almost done, vectors are not really done, not yet. Uh, so maybe we just have only matrices, just like uh, Matka does. We have vectors with matrices. Or maybe we can talk with just matrices, and it will be easier for us. Uh, we don't know yet, we'll see, but what we really want is a, a container that's easy for the user, completed by the field, uh, so that it looks mathematically uh, understandable and easy.
where they did, and we passed it by reference. That's fine. That works well with our with our with our memory model. And it's a typical example of how we can do things respecting our memory model. Uh, this is another example uh, about this memory of the memory model. Uh, we wrote an algorithm that can do matrix multiplication in sub credit time and without extra memory. And we and we implement it in the in this memory model, so we know that uh, we are using the memory that we want, and uh, actually it works for this. The glass manifold was the previous um, the previous algorithm that tried to sh schedule uh, that schedule some uh, algorithm so that um, pure memory was used. We could we have algorithms where we don't use any other memory, where it trashed because the memory the, the sizes were too big. We can get times, so we can it, it works for us. And well, not only does it work, but it works in real time. Uh, so it's this is uh, something that uh, says about how we know the world in the back, we can do things well, and, and it works, and it works well. So, yes. is classical is Classical is like uh, just using... Uh, classical is, it, it, it is glass. Why does it even work? And why does this is class to be in the That's not memory, that's time in seconds. Sorry. So uh, the, uh, the memory used, uh, yes, I should have probably uh, have shown a massive, uh, a massive uh, plot. But uh, here uh, it just crashes because we, we, we just want, uh, we just use no swap, just a different memory. So if it goes up to the memory, it just crashes. So let's pop out and find this four divided with the, with the this 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 desktop and four divided with the memory and this we just take the look at this there and it doesn't even define this or that. Um now I'm going to talk about uh, the next four years and uh, what the HPAC project will do uh, with the rocks. So we have designed some kind of generic solutions that are also efficient. Can we do the same with parallelism? That's not an obvious question at all, because well parallelism is something not exactly new but Kind of, it's just in the very last few years that we have the variety of new languages or a variety of like OpenCL, for instance, and many other, many other SDKs for new languages that deal with some kind of parallelism. Uh, can we be generic about this and abstract these, these evolutions? Well, um, there are primitives that exist, like for each, that transform, like accumulate, that exist also in parallel. Uh, we are implementing the value and the circles in parallel. Uh, we, also, we also try new primitives, like this one that is uh, actually created for the uh, um, Chinese room. And well, as I said, there's plenty of implementation possible of MMP, uh, Intel TDB, or KRP. What we want to do? Uh, well, algorithms usually have a for loop somewhere or something that is in parallel. 
we want to use these algorithms to abstract the implementation and call these algorithms at the higher levels. Uh, we call them data parallel building blocks. Um, how can this be implemented? Well, maybe just by pragma. Uh, if you want to use KP and use KP, if you use Open MP, Open MP, we don't have anything, we just fall back to the, to the STL, which is uh, not necessarily parallel to the STL parallel. And there is another problem with parallelism. We talk about data parallelism, well, that's not the most difficult parallelism. There's also class parallelism. Here, we are programmed with scheduling. Uh, implementations include CL, KP, even OpenMP in its recent version in the future. There will be better and better uh, task scheduling in uh, OpenMP. There are languages like OpenCL and AEC that is there to abstract uh, task parallelism. There are all other solutions that we would really like to take advantage of and then we write them all in a parallel manner. Uh, all those items are as many questions that we have more and so yeah. So uh, what we want to do uh, before Inbox 2.0 is released, uh, keep writing a of solutions because um, there are many, many things that uh, is still, there are many, many threat cells in the current in the, the, the previous table, especially for teachers in rational and linear algebra or very small fields. Uh, our benchmarking uh, can be really, really improved. Uh, it just takes time to do, but uh, not everybody has time for this, uh, especially me. Um, we have a problem with Linux. As it is growing bigger and bigger, there are more and more template instantiations. There's more and more uh, memory needed at compilation time. There's more and more time spent at compilation time as well. Uh, not even including the benchmarking time. Uh, so we have to introduce some mechanism to uh, specialize, but to um, compile in uh, shared libraries some combinations of solutions, metrics, and fields that are um, uh, that are very common. Uh, this has been tested. It kind of works. And uh, we just have to implement it and generalize it to the library. That works at time. And most important thing, uh, the end of this result, one of the goals of this project, LMO project, make the inbox parallel and very efficient in parallel. Uh, hopefully, it will take four years to be out from the country. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's the question. As a compiler, do we just think about it? Depends on the compilers and the problems. So sometimes we have surprises for each of the compilers, but usually they can work well at the same places. So we just turn up one compiler, preferably GCC, and just don't really care about it. But you, you usually take most GCC? Uh, we prefer using GCC, but uh, in Docs also work with ICC mm -hmm. or uh, what it's called uh, CNOR. Someone, what can use templates? Which make someone can use templates. Which makes me because I don't like templates. Okay. Uh, so maybe you have mentioned this, but uh, does Linux allow uh, use of uh, CMD instructions? Um, as, say x86 uh, uh, You know those CMD uh, simple. Uh, single instruction one for data. Does, does it allow this be because I it seems to be you need to mix um, you need to have some certain structure, but I don't know whether your structure matrix representation allows this. Well Inbox was not written in uh, the idea of using SSC or MMEs by the way or I don't know too much. Uh, the idea of inbox is more uh, Code as abstract as possible and leave uh, what's close to the machine as out of the scope. And uh, we don't really want to use SSC or something, but uh, it is true that uh, the compiler will very often do not guess uh, that it should use SSC or Linux or whatever. Uh, so I had made experiment about using SSC uh, for for something, for instance, for doing uh, integer like as done in 32 or in 64 matrix multiplication, just like DAS does, but try to do it on uh, you know only for integers, but only for algebraic blocks. Uh, there's a project for this, especially in uh, Montpellier. Uh, and after uh, using SIMD or other uh, or other things, well, we think that they can be abstracted by languages like OpenCL. Uh, I did a lot of work on the GPU for uh, parallelizing sports metrics uh, time uh, dense vector product. Just uh, in, in GPU, you know, like, these plots and OpenCL can uh, do it very easily. But when there is some firm like that, no, sorry, that, uh, API that provides this as a, as a library, then we prefer to go back to the library. Uh, same thing for AMD that provides GLAS and OpenCL. <coughs> we try to use them rather than use this Ourselves. And if there is some kind of SMD parallelism that appears in the algorithm, then it's the language that we all that we do it. And we try to extract the parallelism whenever we can. And then the language will parallelize it. And we just provide the language or the language that we try to use SSC or things like this as. Yes, a lot of time to go, a lot of time to maintain, a lot of time to and don't have a lot of time to make a lot of time. Okay.